back out in the garage working on the blocks and pistons uh, get one block already down on there and now uh, you can see pistons are in there second block got one piston in I figured I'd kind of show you try to uh, get you back up to the tripod all right kind of kind of a method madness whatever um, piston up oh, there we go get the piston um, and it's in my lube just a well, thick grease whatever anyway I uh, squeeze a bunch up here on the rings all the way around now I have plenty of grease on the rings go ahead and work that in a little bit there uh, and then uh, I don't know if I'll be able to, you'll be able to see this or not, but I'm just getting my fingernail into the gap in the ring there. Come on. Work with me here a little bit. Alright, so the top ring, the groove is there. So I got top ring, middle ring, and one. And the bottom rings over here, so kind of spread out all the way around. Piston. But they definitely don't overlap holes. And then we take this thing right here. As I said earlier, because this has been boarded, I don't have quite as much chamfer here on the bottom as, as normal. But set the old piston in there. Using my belt line, put a little pressure on the bottom of the rod. Oh, you know you want to. All right. That come on. Come on. Get in there. Come on. The carts want to roll away from me. Ah, you can run down. Quit rolling. Of course, the one I've tried to film is the one that doesn't want to freaking go in there. All right, there's one ring. Ah. Oh, I think we're oh, working on the second one, maybe. There's two ish. Yep, number three kind of went in on someone feels like. No, no. It caught pretty hard on there. Like, ah. There's no way I'm still in frame. Horrible video. Whatever. Whatever. I get one side in and then the other side pop it. Oh, wait, maybe. Oh, there we go. Get this backwards a little bit, I guess. What now? Never had an old ring hang up. There we go. Ouch, don't do that. There we go. I ain't done enough. There we go. All right. And just like that, the pistons are in. Oh, what a mess. Grease everywhere. Um, so, thank you over here. Uh, ooh. Yeah, you might not be able to see anything in this next step. I'm just trying not to kick the camera and get me all off. There we go. Back on the spot. Ah, bring this thing over here like this. Ah. Same now. 
greasy belly. <sighs> take the glasses off. Put that over there. I need those for a little bit. Anyway, so now I gotta pick this up and roll a little bit and get set down in there. Which is always fun. <sighs> really close. Ah, bags. I'm afraid of that. Put this back up. Come on. Come on. Up. Up. And down. And just like that. Both blocks are down on there. Pistons are all in there. Whew. Yeah. So, um, I'm probably going to dig out the head gaskets and slide head gaskets going, put the head on there. i got to find the, um, let's see. Whew. It's not easy. Over here somewhere, I think, in that box of stuff back there is all the, Nuts. Oh, you know what? No, I take it back. One of these little cardboard boxes. I got brand new uh, grade eight fine thread nuts. Going to studs. I'm missing a stud. That's a problem. Uh, I have to see if I can figure out where that stud's at. And uh, <laughs> get it put back in. It's probably not critical for what I got to do, but. Um, for the head to seal right you got to get it on there before you tighten up these bolts so the blocks can kind of align themselves whatever so I'll probably get the head down there put it you know head gaskets on put those on figure out where that studs at get all that done <clears throat> that's uh that's the next project because once i get the head on get all that then i can tighten all this down put the rocker arms in get that side tightened down and the blocks are done and then it'll be a matter of going in the house and getting the uh, connecting rod uh, bearings <clears throat> get those on that's kind of a pain in the neck to rolling the crank back and forth to get everything lined up but anyway there we are blocks are back down on the on the old zb <laughs> anyway i'll be back <laughs> 